everyone welcome to another drive time here on it's a learning life for real i'm tamika and today i have a companion on my drive time hello it's me kayla i decided to expand my interactions with my mom's channel so guess what we spent the morning doing kayla had a big day today today is her graduation day so we just spent the whole morning at her graduation ceremony then we went to breakfast her treat and now we're going to her physical or medical appointment because we're preparing for her next step which is middle school so today I kind of wanted to talk to you as we drive to this doctor's appointment about uh, just reflections on her milestone so elementary school here in the u.s is equivalent to a primary school back in jamaica so as i watched her get ready for her her graduation ceremony today i couldn't help but reflect on my own graduation when it is that i was leaving primary school for high school like her i was 11 year old going on 12 and i was about to enter high school which was a pretty big deal Similar to how high school was a pretty big deal for me because in our system, you leave primary school and you start seventh grade in high school. She starts in seventh grade in middle school. So yeah, and I just figured that we would talk about just her own reflection. So Kayla, how does it feel to have wrapped up your elementary school years and to be on your way to middle school? Well, Ma, it's both exciting and like kind of makes me nervous because it's like a whole new section of education a lot of new experiences and at the same time like there's some first i'm excited excited to do new people i'm excited to meet and everything so it's really just a conflicted emotion nice so you basically spent your elementary years in two different schools you so you want to start with your first school in terms of just your overall experiences i mean those years were really good things like seeing as it was those first few grades which things, grades which like, grades did you spend one through four uh-huh um like those grades those were like the peaceful times the ones where everything was just fun and jolly and there was only one time where like something happened that was drama like dramatic and like all drama -y. <laughs> um but overall it was a really great experience which is part of the reason i've been having such a hard time getting over that school after moving to my new one okay so you spent the last so we actually moved uh, in 2020 to your new school because we bought a home and here you have to go to school where you live so what has the experience and 2020 was also the year that covid came so you started your new school uh during covid and you spent that first year in fifth grade online mm. what was that like what was most challenging about one change in school and two having to do a new school also virtually what was that like i mean the education wasn't really the difficult part it was the social piece because mm -hmm. i am naturally an extrovert mm -hmm. and having people not with their cameras on barely ever talking sometimes you don't even get their name it was like quite difficult for me because it just makes the class even more boring because normally like talking to people and making friends is like the one thing that was like fun for me mm -hmm. and seeing as nobody was interested in doing that mm -hmm. it was just a lot more difficult for me to stay focused and everything but you got to do your sixth grade year in person so yes. what was it like so you spent your first year in a new school totally online not really know anybody people not turning on their cameras and all that kind of stuff and then sixth grade was almost like your first year uh seeing faces going onto the school premises what was that year like for you um it was almost like meeting a whole bunch of new people and it partially was because it wasn't even the same class as before but I got to understand how I both kind of missed the peacefulness <laughs> of the virtual school and both the more excitingness of being in person. And I made a lot of friends mm -hmm. and a lot of enemies. Oh Lord, enemies. <laughs> So 
So what was the hardest part of sixth grade? The kids. The kids? The kids. What? Because what? in sixth grade, apparently, everybody thought that's when you're at your most mature, but you're really not. Like, kids are, they think dirty things, they say bad words, they curse, they do all sorts of stuff. And it's just not the greatest, like, surroundings to be in. So a lot of times like you're you're just like really almost stressed out with the whole situation. But I had friends there that were able to help. So that was nice. Yeah. So yeah, I, I know that sixth grade was tough for you because every day you come home you would, you know, have some kind of stories. Uh you had some challenges with friendships mm. uh in sixth grade. And what was the biggest lesson you perhaps learned about friendship and kids I mean at that age because so much is happening for you guys developmentally lots of people are going through puberty and all that what was what was what was the biggest lesson you had around uh, uh, I friendships had two big lessons actually mom uh -huh. one is that people change uh -huh. and two is that like even though you can be this amazing friend maker not everybody's gonna be your friend Yep, 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 yep. No matter how amazing of a friend they That's are. real. So what are you looking forward to most about middle school, seventh grade? Um, I'm actually quite a simple person. Like the Simple, only, really? Yes. The only <laughs> thing that I am most excited about is two things, actually. One, uh -huh. getting lost in the school building. Lost? And two, opening my locker. Okay, so you're interested in uh, the locker experience. Why the locker though? What's, because what's it's a new experience and it just gonna seem so fun. Like opening it, putting my books in, closing it, taking my books out. Okay, so you're excited about the locker and you're yeah. excited about what else? Getting lost in the school building. Getting lost in the school building. Yeah, it's a pretty big school. So I expect that she might get lost. But even in terms of your subjects though, you're gonna be doing some AP classes and all that kind yeah, of stuff. Yeah, I'm not excited about that. You know exactly no. about schoolwork? No. Okay. All right. Well, thank you for sharing. So, I mean, like I said, for me, as, as her mom, today was really a pro day because uh, watching her go to school here in the U.S. is much different from what school was like for me in terms of just the experiences. There's the cultural piece. Uh, it was just very different. But what was similar is just the fact that she has completed one stage of her learning and education journey like she's now entering seventh grade and when i reflect on the very first day of school for her i remember the very first day of school i even though they didn't wear uniforms here i literally went to old navy and bought her a white polo shirt and a blue dark blue navy uh squirt and her matching shoes and all that kind of stuff and i put ribbons in her hair i actually had ribbons uh i got ribbons from jamaica and i put ribbons in her hair in fact i'm gonna drop the picture here so that you could see it so when i think about that little girl i sent uh to kindergarten and i think about the young lady who you are seeing today i mean i'm just overwhelmed with pride because one of the things in fact she got a couple of awards today at at school she got the president education award she got an award for uh spanish she got an award for being a school patrol which is a part of the leadership thing and she also got recognized for being accepted into uh, a program at Virginia Tech University she's gonna be doing a, a camp at Virginia Tech uh, this summer residential program where they're going to be focusing on engineering so uh, she really I'm really proud of not only what she's been able to achieve and of course she brought home all uh, four and four is like an a here in the US uh, but she brought home all four report cards so I'm super proud of her and I'm more most proud about her growth her maturity her responsibility I'm really proud of her Kayla is a kid that wakes up in the morning makes her own breakfast she's dressed by the time I come downstairs to make her lunch and she's just all around awesome and I'm grateful for who she's becoming and I am just feeling happy you know so I just wanted to for those of you who have children who are graduating from school who are moving on to a new grade 
or entering a new milestone just celebrate them today hug them a little tighter treat them if you can you know so that's all for us so until next time remember it's a learning life for real